We are all gathered here today to celebrate a great decision that Andy and uh, what did you say the name was? <laughs> thinking back to when I first met Andy, I remember thinking, who is this man who is dating my daughter? What are his intentions, and should I give him a list of ten things that you need to know before you can date my daughter? Taking an oath to spend the rest of their life together is big, very big. And they took their time. They did not rush into it. It's a very smart way to do it. When you were born, everything changed. In the hospital room, I looked at your mom and said, it's not just the two of us anymore. What a strange feeling that was. Sometimes I still see that little girl with bangs carrying around her bobo bear, riding her bike, looking for shooting stars, and wanting a story to be read to her at bedtime. I asked Natalie and Andy separately what they loved about the other person. Natalie told me that Andy is thoughtful. He is caring and considerate but he makes her laugh and they have fun and joke with each other. Rationally at that time, I knew that she had to grow up. I just didn't know that it would come so quickly. I still try to hang on to those small versions of Natalie. All of these memories have helped make you the most amazing loving daughter, granddaughter, sister, and most importantly, a wife to your husband, Andy. When I found out Andy was in Natalie's life, I had to be the good friend and find out all that I could about him. But what I found out about him, there were three particular things. He owns his own business called Nerdy Prints. Okay, that, that right there, that was a good one. Through the years of getting to know Andy, I noticed that they were like two peas in a pod. What one didn't think of, the other one would. He cooks. A little skeptical at first, until I found out he actually got Natalie to eat other things. For one exception, if it's green, it doesn't go into Natalie's mouth. <laughs> green food, vegetables, not at all. And Andy, I do have to apologize. I am the reason why Natalie doesn't eat anything green. Natalie and I made a vow in kindergarten that we would never eat anything green. <laughs> Andy, I'm so thankful that 12 years ago we met at a party and our friend groups merged. Through that, we discovered we both have a love for lunching and really love comedy and TV shows. I thought we were creating the most incredible friendship. Now I know I sadly friend-zoned Andy for nearly two years. I'm a firm believer that timing is everything, and I'm thankful for the time we spent creating such a strong foundation. Natalie and I have the ultimate friendship where we can go months without talking to each other and pick up our conversation like absolutely no time has passed and it is wonderful. We have been there for each other in the roughest parts of our lives and we have been there for our best days. Oh, 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 man, I cannot believe this day. I love it. I can't believe this day is here. Natalie, I still remember the first time I was introduced to you. I, I couldn't take my eyes off of you. We quickly became good friends, and I was immediately drawn to your sense of humor and how much we have in common. Thank you. Looks great. 
Oh, I love your tie clip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy's response was almost the same. She is encouraging in every way and strengthens him and helps him become stronger, confident, and more creative in all his endeavors. I love your kindness and the effort you put into making everyone around you feel loved and appreciated. I love how sweet and thoughtful you are and just how much you support me as I try new things in life. He is patient and kind to her and we all know how she can get. <laughs> I promise to hold your hand. I promise to deal with finding your contact lenses everywhere. If you will just be patient with me as I learn how to close cabinet doors. Now coming back to the cutting the meat story. When Natalie lived at home, she always asked me to cut her meat for her. I would tell her that it is going to be very hard to find a man that cuts her meat for her and that he would have to be very special and love her a lot. Not wanting to jeopardize our friendship, you know, I kept our feelings, my feelings, you know, to myself as long as I could until one day I couldn't take it anymore. We were made for this. Call me up before. Forward, I had to finally admit something to myself that I had been avoiding for quite a while. I uh, just had to go and fall in love with my best friend. I am so blessed by how thoughtful you are with your actions. You make me feel so safe loved and beautiful. It was at that time that I then received the greatest gift in my life in the form of a kiss back from you. And thank you for not recoiling. I promise as your wife to always lift you up when you're down. I promise to be strong when life is tough. I promise to be loving, kind, and patient, especially when you're sick. Andy and I would hang out all the time. We'd cook, get a comedy club, watch cooking shows, or just hang out scrolling on our Blackberries or Palm phones. That's just a reference as to how long we've been friends. For your love, it's been a beautiful thing to witness, and I am grateful, as well as thrilled to be here to honor the two of you. May your love last so long that we look back and make jokes about today's technology as a reference. One evening, your mom and I were sitting at home and you sent us a video of Andy cutting your meat for you. We both looked at each other and said, she's going to marry that guy. Oh yeah, and then I just have this little gift for you. So it's a joke. But you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have like you did it <laughs> there. your dice <laughs> I love you guys more than life itself Natalie now it's time for you to dance to a new tune Adding love to a friendship is something special, very special. And they've done a very good job in carrying this out. After all, friendship is a lifetime treasure. At this particular point, I'm getting this signal from Sue. And it means one of two things. You've said enough, sit down. 
or I need another strawberry martini. Never stop trying to make you laugh and looking for new ways to impress you. I promise you here and now in front of everyone we love to strive every single day to earn that first kiss back, along with all the love and support you give me day after day. I will support you and be your partner in love and life. I can't wait to travel and have adventures with you. I think we really are just the best team and complete each other. I'm so thankful that 12 years ago we met and you chose to build the most awesome friendship and turn it into the greatest love. I love you with all of my heart and soul, and I can't wait to spend my life with you. I will support you and be your partner in love and life. Thank you for liking me, and thank you for loving me. Chance can make it now. We'll be rocking till the sun goes down. 